right, my name is Sam. My name is Jocelyn. Sky. Colleen. And we're from Bellevue East. <laughs> my father was a figment of my imagination, a smoky figure on the horizon. His father, his face, a distant memory just beyond my reach. Mom's gone. She might as well be dead. She is to me. Lorena's is all I got, but she's not around much. Selling herself to save my soul while Mary Jane and her friends became my confidants. So little Alice fell down the hole, bumped her head, and bruised her soul. Perfectly straight lines of white snow dusted the countertops, leaving this black and white world for dream and color, escaping this world of favor of my, one of my own. A wondrous land where everything is nonsense. Nothing is what it should be because everything is what it isn't. Nonsense, nonsense is, is the, the only, only thing, thing that, that makes sense, sense anymore. anymore. And so I sit here upon the kitchen floor, staring at the clock, waiting, watching the... Watching the painted white rabbit chase the minutes. So lost in time, you lose sight of it all. Stare too long, it's your mind that'll fall. Falling down, 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 till you can't fall no more. That's when you find yourself at my door. Is this my life now, waking up in strange places? Watchful eyes, patiently waiting in the dark. Having no idea where life will take me, so I run, getting nowhere. Everyone and everything seems in such a rush now. I used to take my time to sit and smell the flowers. I miss the girl I was, but I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person then. What happened to me? Was it my misplaced father and my absent mother, a sister too busy putting food on the table to raise me? Did the world not care so much so I had to search for a new one? Where do I go now? Every adventure requires a first step. With each step I take, a memory of sounds in my head like some forgotten song, which I don't know the words to, yet every note is vivid as day. I recall the last time I saw my mother. She was as drunk as a washed up sailor. I was as high as a kite. She was angry at something. I don't remember what. She stormed into my room yelling, her words buzzing in my ear, angry little bees singing anything to, anything to take away the pain inside of her, the hole my father left, not caring about the, what she was saying, not even thinking about the wounds she was inflicting. If you don't talk, if you don't think, you shouldn't talk. I screamed I hated her, that I wish she was dead, that she'd leave, that she wouldn't come back. She, she still, still hasn't. hasn't. And yet she left the door, oh, and the door she left open let the demons inside that torment me. Seduce, seduce me, me, hurt me, me, love me. Tears are simply raindrops from a storm raging inside. Laying down on a park bench, please stop. Stop this cascade of memories. Halt these thoughts from me surfacing. I am tired. The little girl just could not sleep because her thoughts were way too deep. Her mind has gone out for a stroll and fallen down a rabbit hole. The laughter echoes in my mind. I bite my thumb to, to keep from screaming at it. A grand ball of misfit toys, broken in use, and I'm the queen, reigning from my park bench, pla painting the roses red with my blood. Wonders and madness. Welcome home. And passing through the ghostly subject is a woman in red. Flamingos hanging from her ears, her face familiar, like I've seen it in some dream. She leans in to wipe a tear from my face and whispers, My dear Alice, it seems you have lost your head. Yeah!